applause, please, for Jesse. No, 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 please, please, please. This is like boring business stuff. Um, so just, yeah, well, let's see. I use Linux, so if it's control plus, then I could. Is it command plus? How's that? OK. Um, I just wanted to give a little kind of explanation on PDX Ruby and some money that's flowing in. So um, we have recently, uh, about six months ago, we started using Meetup. And just to kind of have it, we don't really know how we're using Meetup yet. Um, a lot of people don't know that Meetup costs money. And so when I created the Meetup group, I had to put my credit card in. And first time around, 90 bucks, no big deal. Um, but we just had another um, uh, set of Meetup fees due, so $89.94. Um, so I kind of threw up this little page um, on the pdxruby.org website. Uh, it's not great. I just want to get something out there real quick so that there was kind of a public log. Um, and so right now, the group, in terms of the money that's basically in my bank account that's reserved for PDX Ruby, is $21.60. Um, so Chuck Bose and his wife donated $50 to cover the latest meetup um, costs. And then there was some money left over from our 13th birthday party. And then I think I put in a little bit. And then we've had a donor uh, donate twice on through Meetup. So he gave $15 once in May, I think, and then once a couple days ago. And then Meetup takes their fees. So that's like the $13.37 um, <laughs> leaps. Really 13 it really is. It really comes in as $13.37. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. $15. Yeah, we'll have a lot of elite donations. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just to let everybody know, as it stands right now, because PDX Ruby doesn't have, as far as I know, like a bank account or a credit card. We probably don't want that. Uh, there's $21.60 sitting basically in my bank account that goes toward Meetup. Just want to be transparent about that. It will get applied to Meetup because my card is going to get charged next anyway. Just want to let you all know. How often do we get charged for $90? Uh, every six months. Yeah, part of it was um, mainly because people use Meetup. Like, we've always used Caligator. That's a very kind of Portland-centric thing, and that's worked really well for Portland. But we have a lot of new people that are moving to Portland. Uh, we have a lot of people traveling. Uh, so Meetup kind of tends to be the, the base slash lowest common denominator. And so uh, we figure out how to, like, make Caligator ads appear on Meetup. And yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna we we prefer Caligator, I think, because we built Caligator and we like it. Um, <laughs> but we're still figuring out how to use Meetup. So yeah, so like uh, I moved up here a year and a half ago, and I went I went to go see like what the Ruby scene is here, and it's basically like you go to Meetup, like if you're from anywhere else in the country, like that's where you go. And it, when I was looking, it's like there's nothing here. I'm like there has to be some Ruby programmers in Portland. And then you gotta like go Google and like figure it out. And then I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like 30 minutes later, I'm like, it's on Caligator. So I think at the very least, it's just a funnel to get new people to us. Yeah. Cool. What, is a, 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 I think unofficially we are a anarchist pirate ghost ship. Did I get that right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a ghost ship. Yeah. Yeah. So that. Yeah, so that's something that we will probably um, think about as like a, as the, there was a group of us that kind of organized the, this whole shindig. Um, we'll probably think about how people could support us. Should we want them to support us in that way? We're still kind of figuring this stuff out. Um, so uh, since it's a lightning talk and I feel like I'm running out of time, <laughs> we'll mix questions and you can always find me uh, afterwards. Thanks. On the PDX Ruby business list, it's a good place to find you.
Yeah. So if you want to get involved, that uh, go Phoenix Ruby Dash Business. The Google group, that's where these discussions happen. And I think it's probably also on the pdxruby.org mailing list, or website. And if you, you can not, find it there. It, it is a wiki, yeah. yeah. And if, if anybody has experience with nonprofits being like umbrella organizations, because the Sundown Syndicate, which puts on Open Source Bridge, um, is the natural you know, match for VX Ruby. And mm -hmm. we do have a bank account and 501c3 and stuff. And we've been talking for a couple of years about we should do this. and yeah. So get involved if you want to. Thanks.